All right, we're gonna do a black diamond. This one's a T6102B. And of course, every black diamond in uh, Colorado, in Penrose, is really like a double black diamond. Hey guys, Ride With Will here. So this is a bit of a special video. We accidentally stumbled into the hardest black diamond of Penrose Commons, and we had no clue. We were feeling pretty confident because I just finished doing three other black diamonds, but this specific trail should have been a double black diamond. Like, seriously, they should have, like, put it right in front of the trail. Hey, double black diamond. <laughs> this is all sand out here. See? Oh, fuck. Almost hit it there. Did, like, a little wheelie there to hop onto the other rock. Of course, we are not talking about Independence Trail, which is considered the hardest Jeep trail in Colorado. Oh, and guess what? I did Independence Trail on my dual sport. <laughs> yup. And that trail was insanely difficult. Now, I want to go back to this Black Diamond because I feel like it will be a bit easier for me after experience Independence Trail. But I will leave that story for another video. Oh my god. That's the bad thing about bringing a quad, buddy. You gotta wait for him to help you out. <laughs> Rock garden, baby. Holy fuck. So keep in mind, guys, this was a very steep trail going down. Just wait till I look back at my buddy and try to notice the tiny space between us. I think we all know most cameras never do justice. Fuck. Holy shit. <laughs> yes, I know, a skilled rider will carry momentum down these rocky areas and dab where appropriate for balance. But keep in mind, I am still somewhat of a new rider, and I only been exposed to rocky trails maybe two or three times ever. But after doing Independence Trail, uh, I actually picked that up pretty quickly, and that is why I want to come back to this trail and give it another shot. <laughs> Dude, this is nuts! Holy fuck! Oh shit! That's freaking crazy! Holy shit! Oh, fucking tough. <laughs> I have no case here for that. I just banged my engine down this trail. So in this section here, after I turned the corner, I started looking up and realized it was a pretty nasty steep rocky climb. Fuck it. This is where the KLX 250 had issues. It did not want to move up this steep rocky trail. Even giving it full throttle, it would just bog down. This is where I realized I needed a lower gear for my KLX. So next time I do this trail, I will have a 1350 sprocket and of course, maybe more experience after doing Independence Trail. But I probably should have came in with more momentum, but remember, I was still fairly new rider at this time and this was me pushing my comfort level that day. I'm seriously done with this trail. Huh. So at the end of this trail came this huge step ledge from, you guessed it, a blind turn. I definitely want to go back to this obstacle because I think I'm able to climb this now, especially after doing Independence Trail. Because step ledges are everywhere on Independence Trail and I got so used to it. The issue is, one, my skill level was not there, and two, the runoff was so short that my high gearing would never be able to do this. So for the next round, I'll have a 13 and 50 sprocket. Fuck. This shit just fucking throws you everywhere. Fucking the KLX do technical trails. Yeah. But it will wear the shit out of you. Fucking front crawling enduro. Ugh. 
God, it's so fucking tiring. I don't want this show to be over, man. And it doesn't even bother me. <laughs> it's funny. Oh, is it over? Oh my God, yes. It's fucking over. Oh, it's fucking over. Oh, I'm beat. <laughs>